<laughs> we'll pretend we're segueing from the Florida yes. climate change stuff into the dating stuff with this story. All right, sure. It's from 2017. Having children is one of the most destructive things you can do to the environment, say, say researchers. One fewer child per family can save average of 58.6 tons of CO2 equivalent emissions per year. So you got stories like this. Whoa. And then you've got, um, I think people like AOC, you know, mm. Kaiser Cortez said, I'm worried about having kids because of the environment. You've got a lot of stories popping up where people saying they're not going to have kids for political reasons. And so, yeah, yeah, no joke, man. You look shocked by this. Yeah. Oh, this is man. stuff that we talk about quite a bit. Bill Gates too, depopulation. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think depopulation well, isn't the right word. No. Population mm-hmm. management. Mm. They want to slow the growth of population. Or stop than, it to a yeah. great degree or control it, right? And so it starts getting into scary conversations about eugenics, mm-hmm. you know, choosing who gets to have kids and stuff. But I don't, I don't know what they're doing in that regard other than you've got articles popping up. This one says researchers from Lund University found having one fewer child could save, you know, 58.6 tons. Eating meat, driving a car and traveling by airplane made up the list of the most polluting things that uh, people can do on the planet. But having children was top, according to a new study. So, you know, I guess in terms of where we're headed, people don't have kids. People aren't we getting do have married. the lowest birth rates mm-hmm. yeah. in yeah. the West in general. How old are you guys? I'm 31. 31? I'm 28. Do you guys Are you guys married with kids? No, hell no. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no way, nah, man. Your nah, wife would be definitely cool. Not. Well, it's no, funny. But, definitely not. Yeah. No, but think about like, uh, um, I don't know about your parents' generation. Like how old you, my parents were in their late 20s when they had yeah. multiple kids. Yeah, same. same my mom had my mom had me at like 40 years old. Mm. Yeah. That oh, explains wow. a lot. Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my stuttering. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but my grandparents, man, like they were together for like 70 years, man. Like mm-hmm. back then it was more like, you know, uh, you find somebody, you know, you work through the problems and you figure it out. Now it is kind of like, hey, if you're not benefiting me, like what's the point here? So regarding kids, it's kind of like, okay, what's the point of having kids with somebody that you don't really trust? Mm. So, you know, that goes into trust, you know, dating, relationships. So I would just say having kids is a big deal because now it's two people together for a lifetime. And most yeah. people, they want to be for a reason or season, but not for the whole time. So what's the point of having kids? Continue the legacy. Yes. I think it's more ego. And if it, I think it's more ego, bro, honestly. Yeah, well, ego. I mean, we're, we're, we're designed to procreate, man. Yeah. Yeah, but like, okay, if you're living life, living a good life, yeah. why do you want kids? Well, it's easy for us to say that now, but when you get older, you're going to want kids, bro. You know? I don't know. It's just that fortunately for us, we can, like, push the clock back longer. Yeah, for, as men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As a guy, like, you can, you know, you can keep doing it until the day you die. But, like, you know, for women, they got a finite amount of time. Because I hear it. I want a but, little mini me. Yeah. I'm like, Heck yeah. why do you want a mini me? Is it for your own personal gain or because you actually want a kid to enjoy life? That's some questioning, like, okay, is it about you, your ego, or is it about the kid itself? Yeah. Everyone that has kids says it's the best thing they've ever done. So I, yeah. I, 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 I believe the hype. But I'm not going to do it until, like, I'm completely ready. Because in today's day and age, you know, you got to be very cautious about doing it. But that's why I think, you know, so many people are putting children on the back burner to pursue a career making yeah, money. But were, were, were our parents ready? That's a good Probably question. Probably not. No, they were not. So. They were yeah. not. You're right. They were yeah. not. Yeah. My mom, just had kids. My mom was on vacation in Barbados <laughs> when she had me. It was, oh, my. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> ah, Hi, mom. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, but isn't everybody – like, that, that's why it's always funny when you watch on uh, – TV shows and they say like a kid was an accident or whatever. I'm like, come on, dude. Like most kids are accidents. Yeah. Yeah. Like nobody was like, all right, it's 7 p.m. on the third. Uh, (laughs) It's time to have a baby. (laughs) Some people do it. Yeah. Some people are like, I want my kid to be born on Christmas. And yeah. They, All right. You know, we time like, it perfectly. That's the worst day to be born too. Because my friends who had birthdays on Christmas, oh, they got the like, worst. they didn't get any. Pre- they got one present. Steal the kids. You know what I mean? yeah. It's like Christmas. Yeah. That's it's the Christmas worst. and your birthday. Congratulations. Here's your present. Have a nice day. Yeah. Everybody else got presents. <laughs> exactly. No, you're right, Tim. You, you're never really ready for kids because like you might prepare for it, but it might happen when it's time. Who knows? So what's 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 the end result of this? I mean, we're talking about inflation. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have if if we don't have more people, this this weird, uh, you, you, like, are you guys familiar with like, the economic system and the Federal Reserve and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I mean, not gonna sustain itself if there's not. no more people. Yeah. So then not. what? It just everything. China's gonna take over. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh. laughs> <Just laughs> you, <blunt. said> <laughs> you said it. Oh, he said it. He said it. Oh no. <laughs> just put it bluntly, I guess. <laughs> all right. Well. It was it was a good run while it lasted. <laughs> they got 1.4 billion people or whatever. So no, but I, I honestly yeah. believe, man, at some point in time, we're gonna have a massive shift where it's gonna be under one control, which is like the government, the food, you know, the money, and it's kind of like okay, now that we control, you know, what's needed in life, like you have to do what I say, and the majority of people are gonna kind of follow a trend, and if you don't follow the trend, you're gonna be exercised from like you know the whole society, you know, the, the current system. So I'm thinking, you know what, China. Think about their current setup. They're hardly ha- having any kids. It's all business and structure, technology, how to how to expand, how to build an empire 
versus now America's kind of like you know do well they want people to have kids now though in China yeah yeah they got rid of that rule That's one right. one kid per yeah. family it used to be a male but now the, the mm-hmm. problem is that they've almost overcorrected to the point where like there's no women anymore like so there's they, too, they, too many too many men too so many bachelors they buy North Korean slaves oh, oh is that what they're doing yeah yeah we actually had a woman from North Korea on the show and she was saying like that's what they do because there's no <laughs> women so they just buy them from North Korea oh I didn't know that Jeez. creepy stuff yeah man the world's a, a dirty place you know yeah. there's like a, a nasty stuff going on but my question is China's like we're gonna win at any cost right. do you we don't care have, do you want, actually want to have kids in, in this current climate right now do you mm. want to, really want to have kids no yeah but come on man people had kids during World War II people had kids during Vietnam you know Pe- like the world was messed up in a lot of ways and people still had kids I think we're being inundated with propaganda like this where they're like you can't have kids the environment you know it's, it's really really bad and it's like I mean that's, that's, that's true I suppose like humans fart and poop and yeah. eat and stuff like that mm. but people have kids I wouldn't say the natural environment is the problem, like, you know, with, you know, obviously pollution that plays into it. But I think yeah. it's more like raising a kid in today's day and age in this contemporary marketplace. Like, argh, like it's it's going to be tough, man. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, family, if it, the family unit is not as strong as it used to be, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. nowadays. You know, you got single moms all over the place. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of things which we get to cover later. But, yeah, I, I mean, it's just it would be tough to raise children now. So know, what, what's the future going to look like if we're not having kids? <sighs> I mean, like, we're not. China taking over, man. <laughs> China taking over. China's taking <laughs> over. Let's stick it to it. Let's <laughs> to it. I mean, if we don't have kids anymore and we're kind of like, you know, just, you know, doing our thing, um, it is selfish at, this, at the same time, but I understand why people do it. My thing is, if you don't have kids, though, it's kind of like we're going to be stuck in a certain, like, mindset and, uh, you know, I would say hysteria because now we're not bringing up new ideas and new people mm. to think about certain things. Good so point. we're stuck in a certain, like, you know, box of, okay, it's how we think. If you don't agree with it, that, it, yeah, you need, you, need to pro- you need to prop- propagate the next generation. You know, yeah. and right now the b- birth rates are the lowest they've ever been. You know, and there's a bunch of reasons for that. You know, you can feminism. You know, the cost of living has went up, inflation, all these other things. But you know, uh, people are millennials now; they're less likely to buy a home. You know, they'd rather rent. So there's a bunch of things. That, you know, why I don't, I don't believe that rather rent thing though. No, no, that, that's that's absurd. Like, why would you rather rent? I so you know what? they can't buy. That's that, that's the problem. They Especially can't with buy. BlackRock. Yeah, yeah, L- literally like. Our, our generation, they, they, they want to be entrepreneurs and invest, but they can't. They're working at Starbucks. They're working at – how are you going to invest without money? So it's kind of tough. I, I will – I mean, but here's the thing, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm, like, thinking, like, guys my age group. Like, very few of my friends actually own a home. They oh, rent. That's true. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, like uh, guys, like, in our age group, like, that I guess would be considered millennials. Yeah. They're less likely to buy a home, you know. But, yeah, I agree that, yeah, credit is a part of it. Mm-hmm. And then also they're pushing back because I've always said it. Like, there's really no need to buy a home unless you're going to have kids. Kids. Because mm-hmm. then you're tied down to that area. And the only reason you would want to be tied down to a geographic school. area is for a good school. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't, you know, if you're a single guy or you're, not, or even if you're in a relationship with a woman, you know, together, a monogamous relationship, like, unless you're going to have kids, I wouldn't buy a home because I think it's like not a, it's kind of throwing money at you, you. You lose your leverage to be able to maneuver around and do what you want to do because you're, now you're confined to one geographic area but on a house. That's not true. No. You just, you just go to a rental management company. And then you, you buy, let's say you buy a house and you, okay. and you live there mm-hmm. for one year, like, mm-hmm. you're, like you're going to do a lease. Then you decide, yeah, I don't want to live here anymore. I don't want to deal with this. There's probably hundreds or thousands of rental management companies. And you just say, oh, yeah. If you rent it out and you do it, th- th- that's good. But what but you don't have to think do, about it. Yeah, but most people are going to want to keep the house. That's what I'm saying. Like no, a lot no, no, of people want to live own in it. it. So, here, own it yeah, so, so what happens is you buy a house, you own it. You're paying less per month to live there. And then when you decide to leave and go somewhere else, you call a rental management company, you sign a paper, you walk away, and you don't think twice. You don't even you don't even think about the house anymore. It's yours, and then all of a sudden, every few months, some money appears in your bank account. Yeah, if it's if it's like for that, where you're going to rent it back out, that's great. But a lot of people, you know, they're not. They're not I would say they're going to buy the house and like live in it. And be like, I have a house. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like like the American dream. You know, the white picket fence, a home mm-hmm. in a good school district. I can send my kids to school. You know, that's why I why a lot of people buy a home in they a nice area for from, from ego too as well. They're like, oh, this is my house. This is where I yeah. have yeah. things. This is where I have yeah. my parties. So when they leave, it's like, okay, I'm leaving everything behind. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. You, you can do that as an option. Yeah. But majority of people that I've seen in the real estate community I've that buy a Florida, house and live in it, it and yeah. then they, they, they just stay. dip. Yeah. I don't think there's good schools anymore though. To be honest, that, uh, that might be, might be an issue too. <sighs> I would say we're getting there. We're like this. this pretty soon, you're going to just have to send your kids to, uh, to private school, school mm-hmm. or, or homeschool, homeschool, homeschool them. We're going to get there to that point very soon. Oh, we're but, there now, dude. Yeah, you think yeah, so? Like, man? We had we had this uh, uh, Azra Numani on the other day, and she's working with uh, a bunch of parents 
targeting critical race theory and critical theory in schools. Mm -hmm. The stuff they're teaching kids, man, is just insane. Mind blowing. You so should have seen the books that she brought. Mind blowingly insane. insane. Like, wow. what do you think? Kids? Indoctrination like, on steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm. what do you like? Worse than college campuses. Yes. Yes. It was like the mm. same. But so, like, doing you, it to first graders. Yeah. No, crazy. like, you, you imagine like a third, like a work a worksheet for a third grader is going to be like, you know, a train leaves Cincinnati going fifty miles an hour, and then a train leaves Chicago going seventy miles an hour. Like, you know, math problems like that. We're looking at this workbook, and it's like, what makes you uncomfortable in your black skin? What? Like asking a child that and then having them write down. But the thing is, it's a loaded question. There was like one of the questions, no joke, was something like, why do you think black people are uncomfortable in their skin? That was like one of the questions. Shraggy? And, and I was what? like, <laughs> say what? <laughs> but you, you see how the question's loaded? Like yeah. it, it's asserting it as true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the kid has to believe that's and true. Asking you why you think it's true. Yep. Right, right. T asserting it is true. And there was one. It was like, how can you be a better? Uh, what did it say? Gender race. Uh, yeah, race what is gender what is race? Gender race or racial gender? It's just it's just psychobabble. Oh, like, dude. If that's the case, then yeah. I, yeah. My, Yo. Obviously, I went to school in the '90s, right? So like back then, you know, you were still you know coloring in in circles and stuff. Like, oh, don't mess outside the line, and you know, playing tic tac toe, and you know, maybe you know, getting in some fights in the schoolyard, whatever it is. But like now, if that stuff's going on, that's a clown world, bro. I, <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. And I did not so, realize that the school system see, has changed that much. That's why. That's why I asked the question: Do we do we really want to have kids in this, this current climate? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, honestly, homeschool is the only way I would actually do it. Uh, that's the only way I would I would do it. Honestly, yeah. homeschool man Same. for sure. But like, see, but, but the negative to that is that like you kind of want them to be around other kids too. Though. Yeah, like that's that's, that's that's I think one of the the beauties of like sending your kid to public school is like they build a friend group. They learn how to interact with other people. They learn like what's socially acceptable, what isn't. You know. I, I think bullying is good, personally. Like, it, but like, uh, I grew up. I got bullied as a kid, and it made me a better man. You know, I like it. It, it like kind of it re if you were a weirdo or whatever like you get picked on for it but then you would know man maybe i shouldn't act like this or whatever it kind of some people make some some people would break some right but you know it just lets bring, you know just bring your kids to the skate park you could do that too uh, and there's a bunch of other kids or get them involved in sports yeah get, get them in, involved in sports bring them out in to public spaces and community events play an instrument these yeah. the, the problem with these schools is you don't actually know what they're teaching your kids and you, you can't just give that responsibility to strangers yeah and that was that was a mistake people you know parents made for a long time because mm -hmm. even, you know, even outside of the indoctrination of weird culty ideologies and like racist garbage. College campuses are awful right now. Yeah. Dude, Man. we hear stories about like a dad who's like, I sent my 18 year old daughter to college. She came back hating me. And her hair was, <laughs> her head was shaved. Oh. She was wearing weird clothes and her face is all pierced up. You're toxically masculine, dad. Oh, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's crazy, man. It's a, it's a clown world. But um, yeah, with kids, I mean... <sighs> If it's like that, let me thanks for checking out this clip from the Tim cast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash Tim IRL Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. where you can leave comments and super chat. And we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members only content segments, you can't get anywhere else. Go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.